Hey, hola, today we're talking about the time I went to the screen of Enola Home Stew and being your authentic self to yourself and others and be the leader of yourself. Let's do it. I went to this Halloween party and in two days before I went to a screening to watch Enola Home Stew and it was really good and a big step for me in that, that Halloween party was that I chose to step out of my comfort zone and just respond to what will happen if I go and dance. It was my first time stepping into a dancing floor and I felt this confidence in me. It was just amazing. This leads to the story about the screen i went to see uh the other homes too i was in a beautiful place it was in los angeles it was really really far away from where i live um there was this opportunity when we came out of the theater and my dad went with me and we were looking for my mom i basically went had this moment where i had to pick and kind of like follow the crowd in a sense or take my own path and go by myself i, I found myself really scared i feel like uh, people watching me and Basically, it happened again where I had like two routes to choose from to follow my parents or to take my own path. The path I wanted to take, it was like full of people and the other side was alone. It was completely alone. But I still went that way, but I still felt confident. Uh, I felt confident in my own skin. And I mean, that was a great night. I just felt energy was different, you know? I don't know what it was, but I felt like I... I feel like I could be me and stand out to still feel kind of like not judge in a way. But yeah, I just feel, I feel aligned and kind of like authentic and I just felt safe in that environment for some reason. And this brings me to how important it is to be in an environment where you feel your most authentic self. And this applies to, to people too, you know, um, people you, you find yourself more authentic and more freely to be who you are, to be weird, to be super excited about things uh, that might, I don't know, just be vulnerable, but vulnerable and just be in this mindset of being open and don't really have the walls up. And I think that's the most important thing um, in an environment and in people you need to have in your life. But now that I have being in places where i find myself and i align with my with feeling authentic and, and safe and just confident you know or just being in kind of like a different place helps me um i don't know what it is honestly but um you know it also i also learned that the same night of the screening when i went home when i got home i already wrote in my notes something along the lines of what if i just respond or take action to those what ifs you know what will happen if those questions have always stopped me from living in the present and then once it passed once the opportunity passed i asked myself what would have happened if i auditioned for this what would have happened if i talked to this girl what would happen if i a lot of things that i just couldn't do it because i was afraid because i was afraid that something bad could happen that something might go wrong and i i don't know it's just kind of like a like a fear of not knowing what to do so when i wrote this it was like 27 to 2022 um and then once i understand when what i was uh writing it kind of bring me to to see that i was afraid kind of of taking leadership of myself of my actions of the responsibility of how i carry myself i was really not being i wasn't taking care of myself i wasn't being kind to myself and i don't know it was kind of like in this lack mentality of kind of like being embarrassed um being my true self or or ask questions and go and ask something i i couldn't do that i couldn't like speak my voice and kind of like be confident about it you know and being true to yourself it's a big word and it's a big word that that it's, it's just two words but it carries a lot of things it carries a lot of meaning and it, it brings so much judgment into it brings so much judgment from you that makes you kind of like doubt yourself of who you are it makes you insecure it makes you compare yourself with others and it's just something that the and and the easiest thing to do is to follow the crowd to don't stand out and or or just don't be different of others you know and i realized that when you follow the crowd it's, it's safe and you don't carry this responsibility you are in quote safe and supported but in my case i think it's because i was i came here to the u.s i, I follow the crowd to be safe and kind of like survive um at school and 
I didn't use my voice uh, when I got bullied. I didn't use my voice when, when I didn't want to do those things, when I didn't want to like be treated like this, you know? I didn't know how to use my voice because I didn't know English. Um, English is my second language. Spanish is my first language. So I didn't know how to, how to really stand out for myself and use my voice. But, you know, doing this podcast, it's a big step for me to just see myself and kind of like a way of I'm doing this just to kind of like <laughs> uh, I'm still embarrassed about the first podcast I I uploaded here. I think it has like 29 views, and I'm really happy about it, and it makes me smile every time I see it. But it just I just feel like a little bit of butterflies because I talk like really vulnerable things for me about me about me. I, I talk a lot of things that are vulnerable about me, and um. I never done that and uh, it does a big step for me and i think it has helped me a lot like a bunch it has helped me to step out of my comfort zone more often to audition for things to uh recall myself to don't really care about how my parents see me how they perceive me because sometimes i worry too much about how they see me in their eyes and i just have this constant feeling of pressure of being perfect of taking things to them to see me as a good person, as a good child, as a good son. And that brings so much pressure on yourself to, to just don't be who you are authentically. And it just brings depression and it brings anxiety and it stresses you. And I do agree that parents sometimes do things that you might hate at the time, but they benefit you in the long term, such as learning English such as uh, taking psychology classes, such as, um, I don't know, making your bed when you wake up or, or clean your room or certain things that make you independent. But I think what is missing in what it's missing right now with with what I'm talking about with parents, it's the ability to just make them be their own person. Because sometimes having different roles is really difficult. Um, being your own self it's, it's a lot of things that the i think it is to let their kids express freely who they are have this safe place to to be who they are you know it's really easy for everyone to bring judgment to the table and maybe accidentally bring someone down but i'm still learning about it and, and it's something that right now i'm as i'm speaking I am just kind of like learning from it. So I would just say to be bold and just go go for it. Just if you want to dress differently than someone else, do it. If you want to wear something that looks like like something like clothes for women, do it. Doesn't matter. Or something that that's a step for you and just do it. Honestly, step out of your comfort zone and respond in the moment. What if I do this? Because sometimes we just get it in our head and we're not present in the moment because we might be thinking of things that just are making us being stressed and i just have to say just let it go just let it go it, it always works out um just be bold with what you do with your decisions and own it just be confident and it's easy to say but it's hard to take action so just what i do is it's right in my in my notes every thought that comes to mind honestly when i have my breakdowns I write it all out. <laughs> but I wanted to share. When you feel stuck in life, in yourself, and I've been there a lot of times. This was the same night. I wrote this the same night. I went to see the screening. I was in the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Taking notes and just writing my notes. I, I wrote the... I'm going to read it. Every ending has a beginning. And when you feel stuck, it's because something is coming to an end. And you cannot hold it anymore. You cannot just hold that thing because it's going to end. It's almost ending and the beauty of things ending is a change that brings it is the is this the start of something bring change and evolution and change is something it's gonna happen and it's a beautiful thing there's gonna be new things a new you that's gonna grow and and learn and and kind of like a both and like a pokemon you know you just get more cool and more more strong and more i don't know but the beautiful thing about something ending when you feel stuck it's the beauty of releasing the, the beauty of releasing it all and just let everything flow once again um that's the beauty of change that's the beauty of of flowing and of starting something new because you don't know what's going to happen and 
that leads too to that mystery um, sometimes of us taking paths by, by ourselves and, and kind of just not knowing what's what's going to happen but the most important thing is to is to not be afraid of being loud is to not be afraid of standing out not being afraid of being a troublemaker it's not afraid to break the rules sometimes it's to just do it just go with it just do what you want to do choose your own path honestly be your own leader and because when you don't break the rules a time a time and you start following the crowd you start to lose yourself in all of those people you kind of start mimicking everyone and it comes to a point where you don't know who you are and you're just lost in all those people because you're not following your individualism and you're not following your, your authentic self you might want to go that way but everyone's going that way so that must be the most reasonable one and the most safe one but sometimes we just need to take ourselves and be the leader and just make bold decisions and be brave and just go for it honestly because <laughs> there's everyone everyone is just going for it and winking it and just don't know what's going to happen next but the thing that makes you go for it and be brave is the confidence in yourself and the self-esteem and knowing that you don't know what's going to happen but you know that you can trust yourself to face those challenges that are going to come your way be loud if you need to if you want to be loud if you want to be weird be weird if you want to express yourself freely you can do it the most important thing is to be bold and is to be bold to be wrong be bold that you might be wrong sometimes and that's okay um be bold to make the first move um be bold to be different from others um a leader who uses their voice their actions their intelligence and independence and sense themselves as a compass of their leadership that's what i wrote who solves their own challenges and has mind of their own and the same way for it to be sold by someone else but i do i have to let this as an help if you want to we all need balance and sometimes we need people sometimes we need a crowd to be more loud but everyone in that crowd can be an individual can be someone who it's not afraid to raise their their hand their voice first it's not afraid to break some rules it's not afraid to be their own person that's what makes a group crowd when everyone else is different from others and that's when everyone is a leader but they're coming together and i've seen it um i've seen it in in multiple things i've seen it uh, latinos coming together and i i'm really really proud to see this so don't be afraid to trust yourself in the vision <sighs> if you feel stuck sometimes just know that maybe you need to let it go you need to let go of the chapter that you had um and it's just a way of life saying that you're growing up and it might be emotional and you might cry and that's okay but the most important thing is to keep going and find the things that make you happy the things that make you inspire and focus on that vision focus on what makes you excited and proud of yourself and honestly just find the people who are different from you who challenge you to who inspires you to be authentic and raise your voice because sometimes we have those days where we don't feel as confident but we always have those people who will make you will make you remember who you are and why what you have done so be around people who loves you and makes you happy and be open just be open to happiness work on feeling deserving of love and happiness keep a journal maybe keep a, keep a journal with affirmations i have it uh sometimes in tiktok just affirmations pop up and i write it and it can be as simple as i'm there i'm passionate i'm charismatic i'm committed um i achieve everything i'm surrounded by wait what <laughs> sometimes it's hard to read my, my my writing but that's okay i'm cheerful i'm pretty i'm bright i'm fun loving i'm mindful i'm lovable i'm gorgeous i'm confident just things like that just like cheesy things that you can think of um i got this one today i expect positive shifts in my life every 24 hours yeah that's a good one i'm comfortable that, that's a good one no <laughs> it's okay to be more open it's okay to be vulnerable but i need to learn how to do the say the word oh i actually uh I challenge you today to 
smile at someone and say hi or just say hello i, I started doing that it feels really good some some people are not smiling and you say hello and they smile at you and yeah it, it's really cool do it if you <laughs> if you yourself and, and you just start talking people are nice people 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 sometimes are nice of and and feel kind of like um i don't know how to say it but i feel happy when someone kind of like opens up with me and and tells me things you know they they, they trust me to to be their, their their true self and and i like that you know oh what i what i say an affirmation i say every time i meet new people i say to myself they are my friends every time i go to a social setting i uh, just say they are all my friends and that kind of puts me to the mindset of like kind of like be easy on myself and kind of like say okay i can i can you know be kind of like say something embarrassing and kind of like fix it or or you know just being playful be playful with people and kind of like just <laughs> just kind of like do what you want to do and and i don't know man just be happy and something else just to make sure don't be afraid to be unique yes you heard me you don't be afraid to be unique don't be afraid to just be who you are and because those people are iconic and that's what people that's when you inspire people to be their, their true self and i i think i can speak about that because um you know a lot of people inspire me to be my true self authentic so have people like that in your life from the bottom of my heart the happiness flow and i love you guys so much to my 29 listeners and live laugh love or, or uh love laugh live whatever you want to be do curse yeah yeah sayonara adios bye uh ciao hasta luego this was my first podcast episode two hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and subscribe all right see you later bye